Hello everybody, welcome to, you know what, I'm just going to say it, unfortunately the light goal was almost met, but the stipulation was you had to get it on all three. Now I would say you came closest with the last episode there, 49, but unfortunately you just fell short. It's a shame. I really like the series. I love where the series has gone. Like we started just casually trying to hang in there to where the hell do we go now? But I think this series it's also a good thing. The series kinda needed to be laid to rest a bit. So I mean to those of you that love the series, I don't blame you because I enjoyed doing it. But I can't think of a better way to end it than on an episode with our fourth real encounter with shit. So I'm going to go real quick before the final moon drops here and make sure that our front door is locked up a little bit here because I'm not wanting to be getting dicked over by, uh, you know, just pure chance. So give me a couple of these just as an insurance policy. I'd like to... Uh, Make sure that we're not at least up here getting destroyed. So give me these. Can I put these in front of a ladder? No. Alright. Well, that's a bit of a waste, so we're going to put these back. But, go back up to the roof and prepare the final battle. Now, I know some of you are going to be saying, well, if you wanted to do a final battle, why don't you go on the ground with them? I'm not that stupid. I may be stupid, but I'm not that dumb. I'm not going to end this series by digging myself another grave. I would rather make this building the monument to my grave than anything else. So we going to just hop on up here. And we going to wait. We're going to wait a little bit. So, like I said, and I'm kind of getting it out of the way in the beginning. This is the finale. So... It sucks. I like the series, but I understand that times change. And maybe someday we'll come back to this game. Like, if console ever actually gets an update, that would be nice. But it doesn't seem too likely. Just because, I mean, with all the shit that Telltale's just decided to not give this up. Alright, well, there goes that plan out the window. Alright, wrench, axe, bone shiv, don't need you. Let's go rocket. Let's keep our pistol handy. Keep our actually line it up. Keep some food on us. Actually, yeah, do that, and I'll keep med kits and the bandage. You never know. Start things off at a range, and let it close in from there. There we go. Drop you. I want to make these shots count because we only got three of them. And everybody's going to be grouping up, like, right below, like, right around in here. So I kind of don't want to be doing too much craziness. And I know if I try too much, I'm going to jump off the roof like an idiot and then just be like, well, there I go again, being dumbass. So, yeah, it's going to be friggin' interesting. Especially seeing there's, like, no zombies right now. And I can't really take up any of the, uh defensive spots down below because I've kind of blocked every corner in with, with those wood spikes. I mean, the only way out of here is the way I came in, which, hmm, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. So it looks like I'm pretty much just going to be waiting. I'm pretty sure they're all just in the grocery store doing what they do. So you know what? Let's pop a hole in there. Let's take a little look-see. Lucky for me, we've got a whole undersection to this store that we can kind of work around a bit. Let's see. Can I see anything from here? Probably a fair amount. Oh, yeah. There's a nice shot. Right on the mark. Nice. Ooh, that's a doggo. Sorry, doggo. 
and take kindly to wild zombo dogs around here. Damn, my aim sucks. I don't want to break all these spikes up either, but the zombies are going to hurt themselves doing this anyway. Yeah, good job, dummies. Alright, well, let's go pop a hole in the roof, shall we? Let's just pop one right over here. Let's go that time. It's going to be a minute, because this is quite a slug and a half, but... We'll make do with what we got. Good thing we're leveling up blunt weapons. Because that's totally going to help here. So, I'm going to say it right now. Based on... I'm going to pick the next series from the Birthday Blitz. And I think as far as... I'm going to use the top two series for the next... To kind of take a break from some of the stuff that we've been doing. Because Pokemon, with all due respect to it... It's gotten old, so it's kind of lost its way a little bit. I'm just gonna drop that in. Ha! Excuse? Did that table shield you? Dead now. As he just phases into the dirt. Okay. So, I mean, looking at how the birthday blitz went. The top two series end up coming out based on, like, views. Mainly, like, I look at the views, and I look at kind of, like, how quickly they came in. This War of Mine, the Little Ones, is going to take this series' place. I feel like I should censor that, but at the same point, I don't think I have to. Oh, those spikes are gone. Jesus. so content and just like, they're all just ridiculously mad for jumping on those spikes well, we're gonna get some nice loot out of all this too but I guess that pit's kind of working out a little bit hmm. didn't actually plan on using that pit but hmm. Take what you can get. Got no rockets. I don't actually know if I have any other guns here. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we actually have any more weaponry, so... Swapping off the rocket launcher is not exactly looking like the viable strategy. Now, if I wanted to, I'd have built this place ground level to really set up for a big finale, but... I think going into this kind of... a little more gung-ho is just a tad more fun. We have an SMG. Could use that. Could go extremely old school and go bow and arrow on it. And you know what? I think I'm going to change things up a bit. I'm going to try using the bow and arrow here. It's been a while since we've touched a bow and arrow, but we've got a lot of tools and a lot of talent. Let's see what we can make happen here. I thought there was something else in that corner. I was about to say, like, what in the fuck was that? I'm gonna keep that door closed, just in case something decides that it's ballsy enough to try and get up here. I don't know, these arrows just suck because they don't really do anything. And it's like, okay, what do the arrows do that a bullet doesn't just do better? Now you can reuse them once you shoot and stick something, that's it. Alright, where's the other arrows? There we go. I mean, I imagine if you've got, like, the iron and steel arrows, then maybe they do, like, more damage? She's lost an arm. 
Let me see if I can take off her other arm. I think she'll die before I get that shot. Oh, another doggo. Nice. Let me, uh... Probably don't do that. You're digging that hole. Okay, he's dead. That dude still does not know how to dig. Like, he's over digging in concrete. Like, what the hell's wrong with him? Is there really nobody else around here? Like, you're still kicking? No, you're not. We should have all inside the store. Oh boy, 21 whole skill points I can spend. Golly. A guy like that just runs up in the store. Have everything you want except me. I'm out of arrows again? Shit. Alright, well... I did. You did. This almost feels not fair, but at the same point, I really am not against it. We got the ammunition, we got the tools, we got the talent. Why not use it? The thing is, I can hear these zombies, but yet, they aren't wanting to show up. Did. Where's the rest of you? Y'all like come. I was gonna say y'all like coming over this hill and acting like you're so powerful. Just trying to be a little conservative here with the ammo because uh, you don't need to. Be oh come on! You don't want to walk into the pit. Oh, doggo. Great. Normally, I would say I'm alright with dogs, but as everybody that's seen this series has learned, the dogs suck. Lady, you're not gonna have a good time. Yeah, I was gonna say, your legs are gone. Oh, this, even this spot's kinda cool, but it's not as nice of a vantage point as what I had. I think the night's almost over, so. Our loot here soon enough. I, don't know, I might try to rebuild some of this just to keep the place going. Because, should there be an update that we can come back here to check out some new stuff, I might want to keep this place. I'm not looking at the coil on this gun, though, I'm not gonna lie. Can't even like see where the hell I'm doing. The crosshair is just taken up by this stupid eyeball. I mean, this would be the easiest way to farm skill points if you're doing shit like this. Oh, it's a 21. Oh, 
I hope I pay attention to how many bullets are in my clip. I don't recall asking for your attitude. Rifles? This ain't even a rifle, it's not something to All according to plan. I saw a crawler up on that hill. SMG credit here though, it is doing a lot of damage. I gotta say, you gotta hold out somewhere. This actually ain't too bad. I mean, making minor modifications to this place. You know, only minor. <laughs> Nothing major, you know. We're not gonna go overboard enough and build like a fucking mansion roof, but I would say there's not really much I would change about what I've done. Let, like with it, let alone with the game itself here, but like with the series as it is, not much I would have said need to change. Okay, every, I was gonna say you're the only one left. Okay, you're dead. Sensed. What? Probably some bitch inside this door. Undetected. It's something in this door. Yep. Well, I see they're like bursting holes in my house. Yep. I think you're it, so. You are the final... Yeah, pretty much. Alright, let's get to looting. Let's get to all the fun of making sure I get all my money out of this place. Now, I know some of you might be saying, well, why, why are you bothering going through and looting everything here on the last day? Huh? Simple. Why not? If this game ever gets an update, I'll come back to it for a little bit, but as I see it right now, I don't think this game is going to be getting an update. At least not on console. PC, that's a different level, because... Obviously, PC is going to be getting updates left and right, but that's because it's a little easier to update on PC than it is consoles, which is the only real downside, is that consoles can't just get updates, you know, on the fly. Like, PC, if there's a small bug, they could do an update quickly to get it done and get it fixed. But here, it's like, you want to do an update? better commit half your life to just making sure that update's perfect, because if you don't get everything, nothing you can do. And then, of course, there's the matter of, you know, getting getting someone to do the update. Like, you know, Telltale. Smart decision at the time, but hindsight, I'm sure, is biting them in the ass 2020 that they shouldn't have done it. And it's like, who else? Everything's a gamble, so who would you really pick? Telltale seems like seemed like a safe bet, so... I can't really, I'm not going to harp on it too much for them, because it's like, I'm sure they've gotten shit for it left and right, because, oh, I can't believe you went and picked Telltale, of all people, and it's like, yeah, they picked Telltale, get the fuck over it. You, you think they're happy about it? They're the ones that made the deal. They don't need to hear it from everybody else how it's a bad deal. But, I mean, I've seen some of the stuff in PC, too, and it's like, that's actually fucking nuts. Like, you, you think me building a mansion was nuts? There are little, like, I would have loved to have seen, like, some of the challenge towers and all that they had built in, uh, or some of them I've seen on PC. It's like, that shit looked amazing. That was leagues above anything I'd seen on the console version here. It's like, even the console version has a fair amount, but it's not like it's breaking records here. It's just... Meh. So. I mean, I'm not criticizing console to say, like, oh, the console version is so shit. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, the console version is still fun. Like, I'm not going to say this game isn't fun. I would say it's fun to enough of a degree where if the price tag isn't too high, I'd say it's worth. If you're looking anywhere above a $30 price tag, 
I'd say no. I cannot vouch for above 30 bucks for this. It's fun, but not that fun, because you could get Minecraft and get a little bit more. But I guess it also depends what you're looking for. If you're looking just casual, no real require, no heavy duty requirement, no, you don't need to build anything. You can survive off of just your own two fists running around and generally getting it done. I'd say yeah, you could probably play this game without much hassle. But the issue then becomes, what did you really want? You spent the money on it, and you're not getting enough really for a return now this was a psn free game or an xbox free game whatever i don't know what xbox does if, if they even still do it but if this was like the ps plus game of the month i would say 100 percent for a free game this is worth it and that's not me trying to throw shade and be like oh well your game is worth nothing no like i've played 50 episodes of this game had fun pretty much every step of the way Actually, we've had more than 50 because of all the beginning and the part 1s and 2s and the part 1, 2, and 3 of the first, like, 5 episodes. That I'll take the heat for because that was just stupid recording on my part, thinking I could do it. And, yeah, looking back on it now. Did I miss one? Yeah, I did. I'm going to get you. I think it's ammo for the nail gun that I don't actually use for as a weapon. You know what, we're gonna go guns blazing here. We got bullets, and if I need more, I can make more. There we go. I hear this thing shooting, and all I can think of, if you know the song... Oh, what the hell is it? I know the name is... I know the name of the song is Money for Nothing. But I don't remember the, uh... Who the artist is right now. It's gonna bug me. Shit, I know the song, and I've listened to it before. But if you know what I'm talking about... The drum line that comes in like a minute into the song, that's uh, this machine. The, the freaking MP5 in this game sounds just like that. Let me look up who sings it. Dire Straits. That's who sings it. I mean, I like the song. It's a good song. In my opinion, takes a little too long to get into the song, as in you know when it actually starts. But that's debatable what you're into. I personally, I can handle a guitar solo when I'm at a concert live. So, hearing it, like, hearing a long solo or quiet in a song kind of gives me a bit of, like, an unease. It's just like, okay, am I act did I actually, like, cue up the song here, or am I just, you know, waiting, 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 waiting? Oh, the song started. Oh, where is it? Oh, you mean I still gotta wait a few minutes? Oh, well... That's lame. You mean I have to go, like, do something else while I'm waiting for a song that I just want to listen to to start up? Uh, Chief, we're gonna have to come back on that one. Uh, yeah. I know I've got one of these for clothing, right? Yeah, you. Okay. Put you in there. I'm trying to empty my inventory as much as possible, so I leave generally well sorted. I'll say generally because we all know how well my sorting has been this entire series, which is... Yeah, it sucks. I'll admit it, it sucks. I'm not the best when it comes to sorting shit out, but you know what? I do what I do because that's just the easiest way for me to do it. And I'm gonna go fill these water, these, em these little ugh, empty glass jars here. Just to get them out of the way. I'll probably have to build another sink knowing my luck, or buy another one from a trader if we get to that point, but... Um, I don't know, as this is the finale, I might be tempted to go a little bit longer here, because I'm looking over at the clock, and it's like, oh, I'm right at my limit. I'll go a little longer today, because this is the finale. I want to give it a good send-off here, and as much as, like, well, we had our... We survived the seventh night, which isn't to say anything, because surviving it literally meant stay up on the roof, bust out the rocket launcher for what it was worth, pop out this SMG, burn through our arrows... And that's about it. Most of our spike traps are gone, because they just got beat to shit. So I'll probably have to take the nail gun to it. But, again, that's for a later setup. That's not anything I'm going to deal with right now. So, let's get some of this water cooked up here. Just to, again, just to get it out of the way. So I'll probably go 
I don't even know how long I'm going to do this for, but let's see. How much? How long do I got on these waters? Five minutes? Perfect. I have so much food. Holy shit. Good to see about sitting up on the roof and trying to max out my stats. I like that plan. Sounds kind of cool. Sounds like something I can do. So let's put that there. Let's get up on the roof. Make sure this is closed up. And let's just see about maxing out my stats here, because that's all that's going to do is just sit here and once I'm peak hunger then just gotta work with it see how high we can get our stats here before we end this and yeah, just kinda rock and roll with it I mean I know our situation is very pretty much set up like right now there is not a damn thing we need to do and yeah that's saying something I still have more waters in here plus snowballs to make my own water I think the tallow just makes candles. So I'm gonna put it in here. I don't actually know. I think, yeah, I was gonna say, I think it just makes candles, which I could. I'm, you know what? I'll make the seven candles. Why not? Take just shy of a minute. Our friggin' hunger is peaked out, so we don't need any of that. So let's. Do I, I made different types of meat. I went grilled instead of charred, even though I don't think it makes any difference. I'm pretty sure these are both the exact same, minus hydration 6.9. Oh, grilled takes down less hydration. Hmm. And it sells for more. Hmm. Or actually, no. 6.57. Oh, way more. What the hell? Don't tell me that's just because of the stack value. 328, 29... What was the value? It's like 600. Hang on, I'm gonna try and sell like. Let's see about one. Does it go one to one? Let's do this. What do these sell one to one? 12. Oh, grilled actually. Grilled sells for more than charred meat. Hmm. I didn't know that. I genuinely can say I did not actually think that was how that worked. But, let's go slap some candles around this place. You know, give it a little bit more light to it. Of course, I'm not going to throw a candle right up on the freaking column for the gas container. What am I, stupid? Okay, don't answer that question. Because <laughs> I know I'm stupid. But it's a level of how stupid. Okay, got a couple candles. I, there's just no real way to light up this base so that it's actually lit up. I mean, this is actually pretty nice, though. This middle row here being lit. Then go up here. That being lit. Mm. Suppose I could throw one. What would it look like if I threw one back here? Because I can pick these up without having any issues, so. I'm going to try to make the base, like, you know, well lit. So, let's put another one over here just to get it out of the way. Go check on my little bottles of wata. Make sure they're not overpopulating the freaking container here which I wish there was a way to put chests with these so you could just not have to worry about it because this is too low of a storage in my opinion because meat I mean the meat goes one to one the water goes like everything goes generally one to one for the basic stuff and then you get to some of the more advanced kind of cooking here blueberry pie takes a little bit extra boiled meat takes a bottle of water with it Boiled eggs, mm, bacon and eggs. Cholesterol is the least of your worries. I um, mean, we could do a baked potato, which that's actually just a potato. That's not bad. All right, so we're done with this. Let's turn this off. Grab all of these. Then let's just put them all up in our base. Probably gonna need to build an actual chest next to the sink for the water. The sink was just kind of a novelty thing. It wasn't actually meant to be the big hair-brained, you know, brand new idea. But, yeah, this thing ain't gonna hold it. I can already tell you, yep, we had enough room for two stacks. Okay, let's build a friggin' chest here real quick. Back it up in the secure storage chest. Another water chest. <sighs> Brings back memories of being at the little house on like day five. Having more water than we know what to do with, but 
I mean, looking at where we've come and where we've gone, we've done quite a bit. Now, like I said, when this when this game gets an update, I'll come back to it. As of right now, it's version like 1.18 on console, so I'm not looking to update anything. But I think what we're gonna do is just enjoy the final send off here. Like we've got. The world is kind of our oyster here. So, I mean, the next ser this series is going to get replaced by this War of Mine and the Little Ones. Because that was the more popular of the new series. So, just got to look to the horizon. See what lies beyond. But, with that, this is going to be my, final, my potentially final farewell for Seven Days to Die. Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. If you've been here since the beginning... This this thing has been through a lot. This thing has seen quite a fucking bit. Pretty sure we started this series the beginning of this year, if I'm not mistaken. So it's it's been around for quite a fucking while. And it's gonna be. It's, I mean, we've already got an easy start kind of going for this war of mine, but I think with regards to how this game plays out, or this game has played out. There's not too much we can't deal with. And yes, some people will argue that you had it on easy difficulty, the zombies were never running, and I didn't really explore one biome, but that's because I hate the biome and fuck that biome entirely. But I think with that, this will be the, the potential final send-off here for 7 Days to Die. If you guys did enjoy, do all the YouTube stuff down below. If you want to make sure you see this war of mine when it comes in next weekend here, because you're seeing this... June, it should be June 30th, the last day of the month. New month, new project, whole new can of worms to deal with. But with that, I'm going to get up out here and I will catch you guys in the next series. See ya.